Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the 40k exploration in this blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. Um, so, all I did is I basically went a little bit further and that was enough to already spring a trap. I thought we were done here, but we are not. And since that's the case, we now need to simply start the battle as we're being massively ambushed by an Electro Priest. Yourself, well, fantastic. Or as they say, fan fucking plastic. Love is unshaken. Fantastic. Very good. Um, I would need to get away from here, and that will produce an attack of opportunity. But it is what it is. Fabulous, good. Well, now that we are so nicely together, how about we're doing this? And then a little bit of that. And how about you guys eat dirt? Mmm. Very good. That was excellent. Electro Priest took some damage. My ears are ringing. Uh, the Electro Priests heal themselves with their stupid Electro Priest stuff. Um, four starters. Victory is imminent. All of you taunt. I then my duty. everybody gets a uh, deflection. Then. It will be done. Move in here. And whilst we are at it. I would say we're just continuing. Indeed. Very nice. Gotta focus fire these guys. Elsewise they are going to heal. And they will heal a lot. This should be cool without triggering attacks. Story. Word of the Emperor, that's good. All allies uh, have deflection, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And in the meantime, Heinrich is going to hit both of them because he unbeknownst to many is actually quite good in melee on the other hand uh, Saiken not so much not so much run gun oh wow that he's in a tough spot man That's three Electro Priests, but if he can't get away now, he can never get away, so might as well. There we go. They heal themselves. Not cool. Focus fire. There we go. I will triumph. I need no guidance. Very nice. Well, yeah, we don't want to stress the veil too much. We're good. All right, Cassia, uh, not into melee. I would like you to go to here. We're going to revel our own light. And then this is going to hurt. Good old little stare. Fantastic. Isn't 
Heinrichs gets a little bit extra temporary hit points and we're good. Pasco, what did your friends uh, here do to us? I think it is time for a very nice analysis, every single one of them. And Pasco, he has gained a buff, a buff right? Uh, does it stick, uh, say anywhere? Hmm. No. Unfortunately it does not. Shooting a plasma overcharge, area attack. And whilst we're at it, might as well scout this guy out. Cool. You can see our defenses, our defensive stacking has worked out very well. This turn we're nicely parrying everything. All right, moves to here. You guys move out of the way. And we're just going to improve the damage. Let's go, baby. You know what? Might as well. I stand and thy light I crave. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. <laughs> Doubt is for the weak. Good hits. I like it. Keep it going. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. I will not. Argenta actually hit very, very well. Uh, for starters, I'm moving up here. All of them to me. At your back and Nice little AOE damage and. We're just going to endure. Heinrichs moves to here. Naturally, nothing stands against fabulous. But of course, Lord Captain. Yeah, that combination here is very, very good. Uh, the shield and the defense, that's an incredibly strong combination. I like it. All right, Saiken. Um, eliminates one of these guys. And we're not moving, we're instead reloading. That'll give us a bonus for next turn. Nice. I'm afraid not. Uh, if I may. There you go. And isn't this a job for the There you go. Fantastic. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Pascal. Nicely gets uh, this guy down. Rejoice! 
It's good, we're taking a hit. But it is not that bad. Instead, what we're going to do is uh, triple hit here. Uh, quadruple even. I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. Sheesh, her hit chance is still absolutely abysmal. I will do my duty. Okay, can't charge back. That's unfortunate. Well, victory is imminent. You come to me, At your back and we're just going to ava await you. I need a foothold. Heinrich steals decent damage. I think for the throne's glory. That would be good. I'll see our foes obliterated. Naturally. And one. Let's see to it. Two. I won't object. Three. Okay, he deals very nice damage as well. I got the hang of it. I got the hang of it. Powers unseen uncover my path. The machine altar accepts the contact circuit and this looks definitely like another battle to me. Dart impulse uh, the sixth. A shortish muscular man wearing the scarlet colors of the priesthood of Mars steps into your paws, wrinkles in his cheek, forehead pointed to his uh, prosper, um, propensity of frequent outbursts and fiery ang uh, anger. But right now he is uh, showing no signs of aggression. The man's eye sockets are dark and empty, yet he turns the face straight towards you. May the charge of the Omnisire's mercy persist in the hands of the faithful. May the uh, motive force persist in their batteries. Uh, well, then the Emperor protects, I suppose. The Omnisire knows all, comprehends all. The hallowed electrodynamic Kenobium receives you, pilgrim. I am Dar Impulse the Sixth, a servant of the Motor Force and uh, Praetor Electrite in the Sacred Monastery. The rank of a Praetor Electric is a sign of a high standing within the Electro Priests fraternity. They have been granted an audience as a great honor. Abelard is like, you have the honor of hosting the rogue trader of the house Velasium. I urge you to follow proper etiquette when interacting with the eminent bearer of the sacred warrant. Dar and Paul says within these walls, worldly title, uh, titles are nothing before the motive of the force. Your deeds, however, speak far louder than your titles. Your path here is sprayed with blood of desecrators. Uh, what happened here and how did you manage to survive? When the heretics descended uh, in droves upon the Cenobium, we gave battle, but the only holy forces uh, buried the Omnisire's warrior under the mass of their bodies, uh, thus extinguishing the defenders' sparks of purity. Alas, as fierce as my brother's uh, anger was, I have n no right to permit them to die in honest battle, for the task taking back our abode still lies ahead of us. Heinrich says I must commend the skill of which the secret chambers are concealed. Your choice of tactics was wise and well. Uh, there is uh, no point for losing more lives in the massacre as the cultists have brought. Dar Impulse goes. The leader of the heretics fought the, her way in the Ark wherein dwells the Mikulus fusion reactor. She's trying to desecrate the right of the operations with her own holy litanies so that the relic may be corrupted. But my brethren... 
in the a magnetic meditation are hampering her efforts and chanting excess requests prayer in unison thereby suppressing the commands of the blasphemy this holy place will be protected against sexual uh, sexualist practices i swear it um made the right decision to avoid combat and save yourself um my enforcers and the governor's guards can help you to reclaim the monastery. Can't allow this. Lay people are forbidden from visiting the monastery. Only a select few are allowed to behold the Oracle of uh, the Relic within. You and your uh, retinue are pilgrims of special status. However, you should, should any of the unblessed of the Omnissiah cross the monastery's threshold, will deem them a heretic and have them put to death. Confirmed the presence of lay people. Uh, without uh, the Praetor Electric's blessing will be regarded as sacrilegious. Very good. I see the House of Zellos follows the same rules when it comes to outsiders. Very good. Alright, you made the right decision. Thank you, Pilgrim. It was uh, not easy to watch our unholy intruders stampede on the chapter, uh, chapters of the temple as we envied our brethren, uh, brethren who, uh, envied our brethren who had uh, fallen before the sacrilege has begun. I wish to get to the holy reactor. The time has come to prove your loyalty to the Omnissiah Preacher in the name of the God of Humanity. Strengthen my numbers with a face full eager to fulfill their duty so that they may help to punish the blasphemers. Thank you, Pilgrim, for reminding me of our duty to humanity. I will send the Cenobian's warrior to your aid, uh, if that's what his warriors want me to do. Okay, I don't know whom we're fighting, but uh, I was hoping you could send a couple of your warriors uh, to our ship, because that would be absolutely fantastic. Intriguing. Good, off we go into the monastery. Which looks like a normal reactor room, if you ask me. Oh yeah, we got two Electro Priests with us, cool. Well, that's a lot of energy. And that must be the Archbishop. No, that looks like a heretic. Oh, that's Aurora. How predictable your pass is. How static. All possible deaths you have skirted only to perish here in the fierce tempest that will make your final doom. You've just arrived in time, your little cock. The schematicals uh, use your regalia like the mask to subdue the, uh, subdue the re uh, reactor. Pascal says, a cock. I cannot comprehend why uh, Aspotas are trying to insult me by comparing me to the sacred symbol of our faith. It's irrational. The sacred cock grinds all corruption to dust. Silence, heretic. Your crazed uh, preaching will not touch my mind. Do you cling to your blindness so desperately? Do you think uh, it will protect you from the blinding radiance of truth? Time is all but run out. I can hear the first future knocking on the door of the presence. Uh, choose quickly what you want uh, what you want to be when it walks in a blind slave, a faithful servant or a corpse. I would take some time to rest from your details of future that the cult prophesies. How, uh, hopefully, when you're done, what's left of you still will be capable of coherent speech. All right. My guys are not liking it. Uh, we're just do dogmatic. Um, and therefore, in the name of the God Emperor, die, you foul creature. 
You absolute piece of garbage. You manage to muster your strength and banish it from your mind. And there we go. The absurdity of your struggle amuses me. Surrender to the dark powers! Couple of uh, misguided electro priests. I see. Well, that's a lot of enemies. A lot of them. Okay, Abelard, you're taking the front. Argenta is over here. Pascal. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going here. That's fine. All right, Cassia, we'll move up and then just scream. Uh, this fighter is... No, she's going first, so she can actually I'll just get all of them down. Heinrich. Oh, Heinrichs. I think we are putting you over here. And Saiken gets into cover. Listen, Pascal could theoretically also go here. And be a frontliner. I don't mind that. Alright, start the battle. Alright, moving in. The navigator is coming. And the navigator blesses herself. Before teaching these guys here a very, very valuable lesson. As in, don't fuck around with us. Pascal gets a couple of temporary hit points, and we're good. All right, Saiken. I will triumph. Ninety-five percent shot, successfully missed. Great. I won't waste my time on that. Ruin beckons. Fantastic, cultist fighter, and. I will triumph. Let that other guy move all the way to Saiken. Death to non-believers! Pain and duty go hand in hand. But of course, Lord Captain. Okay, what are we going to do? I think... We're moving up. The Emperor is on our side. We're giving ourselves a shield, that is important. I think we're just going to take that melee to. guy out. This one. 
dealt some extra damage and we're good all right good and we're we will be awaiting you guys as we're as uh, we're coming in Abelard, my dude um, it's a lot of enemies over here Good. Took a sniper. Hit him nicely. Taunt. And... We're moving over here. So that they will need to come around the corner. We're good. Such is the will of chaos. Okay, that's not good. I need to keep them on me. I'll do it. Okay, you guys move out of the way. And we're going to have a little bit fun, a uh, little bit of fun. Right, there we go. As the Emperor commands, I act. Good, we're almost at uh, the point where things are going to hurt. Pascal. It's potentially a little bit too exposed overall. Uh, we're just healing. AOE shot. Nice little hit. I like it. Good. Next. Next round, we're going to AOE expose them. And the Electro Priests are helping us. That's good. Chaos guides me. Death to the weak. Just a minor setback. Out of my way. I serve the ruinous powers. Non wow, Argentia took quite a bit of damage. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Good, we're starting with a little stair, which will teach you manners. Hmm. Yep, all of a sudden you don't look that super hot, right? Should have potentially given that to Heinrich. That's ah, okay. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Slight bit of healing on Argenta. Saiken so could move to here and then hit all three. Uh. Sure, why not? Let's go. The weak. What a satisfying demise. Uh, yep, well, veil degradation isn't looking that hot. Others guides me. I will try. 
think we're just going back into cover. Off we go. Hit another gunner. Psych just, just killed four people in one turn. That's pretty impressive. I will not. Rounds until the reactor explodes too. Okay, um, that means we need to get the electro priests down. Question mark. I think that is exactly what that means. Get me a target. Let's see to it. Naturally. I'll put my psychic. Good. To use. We need to move in. But of course, Lord Captain. There's really no other way of uh, putting it. Drains the life form, dealing damage, heals all of the Psyker's allies and the Psyker themselves. We don't need a lot of healing. I feel the power surging. Everyone, step aside. Heinrich moves up. And we're going to town. Giving ourselves a little bit more damage. I won't object. Let's see to For the throne. Holy terror. Smite your enemies. Alas, no. Good, we need to go through these guys. Can't charge here. Can't charge through them. It will be done. At your back and call. Okay, and I thought we can just hold one side and we'll be cool. Uh, that is not the case. Good, we need damage and we need a lot of it. Let's start moving to here. At least we're charging in. Good, Pasco moves over to here. First, scan all of them, then hit them nicely and then scan them even further that fighter needs to die dude you're just healing your electro priest friend 
see my great works, masters! That's the opposite of helping. Alright, let's do this. Nice little lidless stair. Can't reach him. I am a navigator, not a servitor. If I may. Alright, Henrix is buffed as much as we can. I would have given him an extra. Where is that last guy? Of course, behind the reactor. Uh, that's not good. Destiny reshaped. I will death shall reign. One. Two. Three. I will triumph. Through chaos I stride. What a satisfying demise. Look, we killed quite a few. I'm not sure how many more we should be able to kill. I hope that we can extend the timeline of the reactor explosion simply by effectively dealing more damage here. Yes, we can we can do exactly that. Which is what I was hoping would happen. Alright, Heinrichs making his way all the way there. It will be done. Electro Priest is now a sworn enemy. Nice little strike. Victory is imminent. Taunt and get them onto us. Argenta charges in as fast as she can. And I need to reload, that's the problem. I think we're better off this turn with Sing a shot into reloading. Let's just hit him. 50-50 unfortunately failed. We're buffing every single one of you and reloading the weapon. Cool. 
Luckily he parried that because that would have healed him. Is a kill. Cassia is doing well as always. I uh, just can't reach him. Me. Well, let's reheal him a little bit. Do not dare ask. Amidst the carnage. Psychon moves up. That's one dead guy. I like it. And let's hope that we can get uh, the tech priest in. Heinrich begins to move in, charges this guy, and we're giving him a psi empowered uh, strike. Heinrich is really good in melee, uh, might want to build something with him going forward. He's not tank uh, tanking as well as Abelard, but he's good at melee, there's no denying that. Good hits, I like it, and I think now's the right time uh, after doing Back this and this, it's time for our heroic act. No matter the cost. Tried and tested tactics are the best First of all, move into here, and then now it's one and two. It's always more damage. Three, eighteen. At your back and Look at that. My place is at the port. Great heroic uh, deed. I like it. Good, let's try to hit these guys. As the Emperor commands, I act. Couple of hits, not bad. Faith without deeds is worthless. Rejoice in battle. And she's doing quite well. Down it's not great, way. but she's hitting a couple of things, which is fine. Pascal. Hits very, very well. lost that entire fight because I didn't know how it's supposed to happen. Isn't this a job for the serfs? 
Alright, Henrik gets additional health and it's a bit of a lame combination to always use that on the same guy, but what am I supposed to do? Psychic shoots, eliminates. One step closer. And as such moves up to here. Cleanses himself. And we can't reload. I think we're just done. Okay, cool. Let me see if this works. The Emperor is on our side. Sprinting back into you for that nice little extra attack. I won't object to it. Down to one hit point. Unbelievable. Alright, well. He's down to one. What can I say? A tactically sound approach. I will do my duty. Good hit. And let's point this here to our arch enemy. And we're good. Kaltus just kills his own friend. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for better timing. I'll do it. We're reloading. We don't have any other buffs. You know what? Might as well. Can't even do that. Can we? No, we cannot also not do that. Uh, in which case. In which case, we're just reloading. And that's about it. A little stare, I like that. If only that were possible. Me. Self buffing. And I'm just trying to get the veil down. Psyken moves up and just moves no guidance. and just moves just as quick as he can. Reloads and we're good. But of course, I'm done with this one. I won't object to it. Heinrich continues to just go on and on. Ablar tries to optimize his damage profile by charging in. It will be done. Uh, can't really hit him away from there. That's unfortunate. At your back and call. Going 
God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. I'm a member. All right, Pasco. Um, you position yourself over here. And we're good. The Electro Peace quite literally cannot kill each other. Emperor, give me strength. Here can't use the heroic deed anymore. I will triumph. That's a good hit. Um, I reject the very idea. Get me a target. Charges in. Hits him very nicely, and now for the throne of glory. Not sanctioned to do this, and nothing else we can do. Indeed, one fewer target. All right, Whew. Aurora says, Enough, you're powerless to halt the approach of what is to come. I see a crimson trail leading humanity to doom. See a glow of the final dawn, and that uh, means existence has made its choice. Now you will see it too. A blinding uh, volactic arc bursts from the broken controls, penance and strikes at Aurora's uncanny mask. The metal heats up, smoke billows through the bars with a howl of uh, the cultist collapses. Aurora, the light is gone. What is it? The final dawn? Why was it so different from what the teacher promised? You will pay for this. You will, you... Ugh. The woman goes limp and collapses on the floor. Her iron mask hits the ground with a dull, dull thud. The heretic took her secret with her. What a pity. The Motley shoes have rejected her, leaving only a greyish no uh, threat. The nose uh, that the heretic put around her own neck. I've seen this many times before. No one can escape fear itself. A minute, please, Saiken. I need uh, no more than one minute. Xenos, inspect the control panel. The Cogitar is probably well beyond repair, but your attention is drawn away from the sacred machine towards the dagger sticking in the control panel. On closer inspection, it turns out to be leverishly decorated. But the, the remains has a uh, um, blue sheen on it. The tint on Conrad's weapon, like, just like on the void ship. This is not a, a no human made object. It was grown from Wrathbone, a material favored by the Eldari. Heinrichs, take a look over there. Is this by any chance what you're looking for? And he's like, this unholy object is the work of an inhumane hand. And judging by the cold, I am sensing it's a tool of the Arc enemy. I'm most grateful for your vigilance, Saiken. Alright, Henrik is like curious. Rogue trader, on behalf of the Holy Orders, I thank you for the cooperation and release you from the requisition. From this moment on, I am at your service. I am ready to come aboard your ship and head to footfall as soon as you deem it possible. That is, you do not have other business in the system, in which case I am prepared to assist you in the prompt resolution. Good. The Iron Helm of Aurora firmly attached to the heretic's face. Her face is impossible to make out in the darkness behind the bars of the mask. 
but after peering at it for a little longer than necessary you wonder for a moment you saw something move all right Has Venture Gauntlets. All attacks of opportunities deal an additional bonus damage. Then a gem of, of vitality requires heretical convictions. Um, and when the veil of degradation is above 15, which is quasi always the case, you get additional toughness. And then a blasphemous prism crafted by the cultists in the final dawn. You look through it enough your vision begins uh, to deceive your mind showing what could be instead of what is all right uh, let's start uh, with you I think we are going to give this to you because Heinrich has shown that he's actually quite good in melee combat surprisingly so he still lacks the armor, but he is elsewise, relatively speaking, good in it. Uh, since we don't have any heretic, I'm sorry, but uh, that thing. Someone else can do this. Let's seize the opportunity. Good, lots and lots and lots of cultists gear and trophies I'm just wondering the world will bow that was a close battle in hindsight I would have potentially allocated people a bit differently I thought we we're just needing to hold them back and I was like yeah I oh that is easy until I realized that there is an actual timer and then all of a sudden it was not easy at all. Powers unseen uncover my path. And the Electro Priests arguably would have made it even a little bit more difficult. Fantastic. They seem to be quite content. Intriguing. All right. We've, I think, saved this one here. Uh, the starport. The gleam of a final dawn. Yeah, I think we're good. And that's also where this episode comes to its natural conclusion. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed Rogue Trader as always. And uh, since uh, the reactor is powered, I am glad to inform you that there is some extra power on the like button that you can now use to your own fullest extent. So if you want to click it, Let's I would be eternally grateful. Have a good one and see you soon. Bye bye.